Alright guys, welcome back to another Call of Duty video. Today, as you saw by the title and the picture, or thumbnail, we're going to be talking about Call of Duty World War 2 or Call of Duty 2017. So I am super excited for this because we are finally getting another boots on the ground game. And it's been confirmed by Activision and Infinity Ward. And I am so excited because over the past few years, ever since Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, it's been jumping all over the place, exosuits, and a lot of people have left the Call of Duty community and the Call of Duty scene overall, and they're probably never going to return. But now, Call of Duty is taking it back to its roots. Call of Duty World War II. Now, this reminds me completely of Call of Duty World at War. This is basically officially when I started playing Call of Duty at the time, and I loved it, guys. Call of Duty World at War brings so many good memories back. And I am so excited that they're bringing a Call of Duty World at War game back. So, Call of Duty World War 2, this is the official title for this Call of Duty. And uh, Call of Duty actually posted on their website. And there's going to be a live stream on the 26th of April, 2017. That's in another four days as of the time I'm recording this video. So, I am super excited. We are not sure what the live stream is going to include, but we can speculate it's probably going to have a couple of like the lead developers of the game talking about and what's going to be in the game, the campaign, maybe even the multiplayer side of it. If we're going to be get like a third piece of the game, maybe a zombies portion, because I know Sledgehammer Games did do a zombies thing in Call of Duty Events Warfare. Not many people liked it. But there was a zombies portion, and I'm thinking they're probably going to bring that back. Maybe bring it kind of like World at War Zombies, because that was really fun. So, the image itself, though, shows um, live stream in four days, and I can't really read the numbers, but in four days we're having a live stream. And this is kind of what made it official, that this is going to be the name of this year's Call of Duty as well. It says Call of Duty World War 2. That is really exciting. Now... If you guys remember from a couple weeks back, we did get some fan art of a box cover. So basically, the cover of the game, what it might look like, we got some fan art, and a lot of people didn't believe it was real. But if you compare the images side by side, it is the same exact picture. The guy is basically just resting his face on his hands, and it, I don't know, but... We also got three gameplay images as well, as far as we know they're gameplay images, and they look absolutely amazing. However, they are pretty low quality on the Call of Duty website, and they released it saying it's pretty low quality, but the game still looks absolutely beautiful. So let's take a look at the first picture, it shows a guy aiming down sights with a Thompson. Now the Thompson of course is a World War II weapon, a fully automatic machine gun, and a fan favorite among many. I am super excited because that means that we are going to be getting, of course, World at War or World War II weapons, and that's not a surprise, but that's still really cool. And from the graphical fidelity of this picture, even though it's really low quality, it still looks stunning. So moving on to the second picture, we do have a guy facing us also holding a Thompson, and I believe this may be part of the campaign, this might be one of the first few missions or even one of the last few. but. From what I know and my knowledge, this is a campaign screenshot, and this makes me really excited. Now, I'm not sure if we're going to be playing as this character, or if we're going to be following this character through the campaign. I'm not sure yet, but I'll definitely want to keep you guys updated as we go through this. Now, the four, uh, third and final picture is a group of five guys facing away from the camera. They all seem to be holding weapons, of course. And I'm not sure if this is going to mean that we can play as a co-op campaign where we can have more than one player playing the campaign all together, or if they're going to be different playable characters. That would be really cool if we get to choose which character we want to play as, but I don't think Call of Duty is going to follow that route. I think it's going to be more of a co-op thing because in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 we did have a co-op mode where you could have up to four players I believe. And if we could have up to five in this, that would be even cooler. But that's really all I got for you guys. We do know it's going to be Call of Duty World War II, and it's going to be boots on the ground. We're obviously getting some old Call of Duty World at War or World War II weapons, bringing them back, and that makes me really excited because I have been looking at Call of Duties over the past few years, and I have really 
kind of lost interest. As you guys can also see from my YouTube channel, I moved away from the Call of Duty scene kind of and started posting other games, Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, and just some other games. And this kind of revitalizes me. This makes me want to jump back into Call of Duty and get back into it. I might just go and buy Call of Duty World at War now after this because I really want to go play a game exactly like this. So if you guys like the video, please be sure to drop a like down below, guys. Don't forget to comment your opinion and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I know I haven't done a video like this in a while, but I wanted to update you guys on what's going on. So thank you guys all so much. I'm out. Peace.